Well, uh, in uh, I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here, the first Castle Eviction looms tonight. Let's go to Toff with the latest uh, gossip that we can get uh, from her. Well, Toff, what have you got for us? Well, last night we saw Shane and Holly take on the Wicked Waterways trial. Now, I thought it was really difficult, and bless them, they only managed to get two stars, which translated to four meals for camp. And I must say, they were given a quite delectable-looking monkfish, teeth and all, but I think the celebs were really, really disappointed. You could see it in their faces. And, of course, it is the lowest number of stars that anyone has got this series. So that was quite interesting. And next up, I really want to talk about AJ Pritchard. Now, I think that he's getting just a little bit tetchy because he's a little bit hangry. And he seems to be clashing with Shane rather a lot. Last night we saw that it was all over the, the washing up. And I just want to show you this because I do think something is really touching a nerve with AJ. Let's have a look. <laughs> How long is, is this person supposed to be in here for? Hour and 45 minutes. Can I have rice and beans to go to bed? <laughs> Cooking the pheasant took quite a while, so each minute that went on, I got hungry, my stomach was talking to me, my eyesight was going blurry. It's that amount, though, for all that. It looks great. It looks perfect for a portion for one. Oh yeah, I don't think he's happy. Like you said, That's it's hard. Him. It's hard when they've got no, you know, little food. Um, but he has got a trial coming up, hasn't he, yeah. with Shane? So that's going to be interesting dynamic. Yeah. Exactly. This is why I just love the British public. They saw an ounce of angst in there straight away on the I'm a Celebrity app, voting for those two to do the trial together this evening. Now we've got an exclusive clip, so let's have a look. Best of luck, guys. AJ, you're going first. Yeah. In this round, you've got two minutes. But before that, yeah. you need some company. There we go. Wardens. You're going to mess your hair up. They're going to have a proper party in there, aren't they? There goes the shampoo commercial. Oh, no. <laughs> the cold cream's not oh, going to survive God, no. this. Mmm! 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 John and you in there. Mmm! <laughs> That's huh? 2,000 maggots and 1,000 giant mealworms. Oh, oh. Your time will start when you hear the klaxon. Mm. Good luck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Go on, mate. You got it. <coughs> Go on, buddy. Go on, Angel. Go on, mate. Keep going, bud. Smashing it. Oh, it's got a spin, spin going. Got a spin. That's Look at the that. secret. Good technique. As soon as it's off, Shane, you can go. Okay. Nearly there. Oh, tailor made for me. Look at you with your big tongue. You'd be good at that one. I think that looks right really, that really one, hard. That one. Now, Toff mentioned there um, about the, uh, the, the, the trial, the, the challenge, uh, and food for four, mm -hmm. right? And it was the monkfish. Vernon Kay's the man that chopped that up and, and Did very well. spread it over 12 people. How has Vernon been doing so far in the castle? Let's have a look. So here we go. <laughs> I can't wait to get stuck in. Good man. Oh. Yes, Vernon! I'm going to go faster! <laughs> Got Vernon Kay's painting my face for me. <laughs> Everyone was over the moon. Jerry Dodgers! Yeah! I feel like a goose, would it? Oh, he's crying. I'm not crying. Rolls leg of lamb with gravy and mint sauce. Switch into the happy place. A little bit of cashmere. Oh. So, Big Vern doing very, very well, and his family are watching not just from around the country, but from around the world. We go to Dubai via satellite, and we can find out from uh, Vernon's brother, Stephen. Good to see you, Stephen. Hi, good afternoon, Eamon. How are you? Well, how's the bro doing? Um, I think he's doing really well. Do you know, I have to say, um, it's, it's strange watching... I was watching those clips then, and it's really... It's just like what we've been seeing him in real life, you know? I think, uh, to be fair, everything I've seen on the programme is basically him. I mean, that's him down to a T. Uh, switching from being, like, daft and silly to, uh, you know, helping people, caring for people. Um, that is literally like he is in real life. So, it, for me, it's a bit weird. It's like watching a CCTV programme of your brother camping somewhere. I tell you, <laughs> but you look like him, you sound like him there as well. 
And you've both got that big, well, thick head of hair. Yeah, I mean, we're very lucky to have Big Norman, my dad. He's still got his head of hair and he's sort of 76. Wow. Fantastic. But listen, you mentioned dad there. What about mum and dad? What are they making of what they're seeing? Oh, Eamon, I mean, the, the highlight of this whole program for me has been uh, listening to my mum. So my mum's never seen I'm a Celebrity. Uh, she's never seen a minute of it. And she had no idea what it was about. And my dad rang me up after the first show and she said mum was basically, um, all she could see was a little boy uh, in a castle. And she was like, he's not going to be warm with that jumper. He's going to need another jumper. That bed's going to be too hard for him, Norman. This isn't right, this. And uh, when she, when he did the eating trial, um, she rang me up and she went, I don't understand. This isn't entertainment. Why would people want to watch that? She said, oh. And actually, my mum said, uh, it, it was good how they made it look real, though. And I, I was I like, what do you mean, mum? She went, well, how they made it look like it was real. And I said, mum, that is real. I said, that's what he was doing on. Um, she did. And then she said, it was funny though, because uh, his wife, Tess, uh, after that, she rings uh, my mum up every day, bless her, because um, my mum like, gets, she has no idea what's going on. So Tess sort of reassures her and looks after her um, that Vernon's doing okay and he's warm and he's safe. And he's not getting poisoned by uh, no. these testicles. No, he's and he's doing got very his blanket well. as well. We're now going to find out, um, Stephen, if he's going to win. We're going to get the odds from Toff. But thank you, my friend. Appreciate Thanks, you uh, joining us uh, live from Dubai there. Toff, well, you've been looking no at the problem. runners. Thank and... you very much. Thank you Thanks, very Stephen. much. Toff, you've been looking at the runners and riders. What way is the betting going? Because it is the first eviction yeah. tonight. Who do you think will be going first? Side note, I'm completely obsessed with Vernon, not just because he's dropped dead gorge, I think he's a really strong camp mate. So just before I go on to who I think will be going this evening, which definitely not Vernon, in my opinion, if I had a gun to my head and I was looking at the bookies odds, toss up between Holly, Russell, maybe Victoria, Ruthie, there's a strong four I'm a bit worried about this evening. OK, mm -hmm. hedging your bets there, Toff, hedging your bets there. Well, listen, we will find out. Hey, look. I'm a Celebrity mm -hmm. uh, continues tonight at 9 o'clock on ITV. I, for one, cannot wait. Who will be out tonight? We'll find out later.